Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? No. Too bad because it's already recording. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> to my channel this is Jen Ed and this is my cousin Cassie the OG cousin I'm the best she is the best <laughs> she's like really my sister you it's know true. I don't get to see her that often it's ridiculous because you don't live that far away it's the saddest thing in the world meh um meh <laughs> <laughs> I mean there's worse things like, wow okay there's see. like natural disasters and tragedies no crap, you know no okay so, in today's video, I had Cassie decide what she wanted to make, and what did you want to make? Well, I decided that we should do something that we haven't done before, just so it's fun, you get to experiment with us. This could fail miserably. It could! <laughs> it might! Who knows? So, I got a KitchenAid for Christmas, and I've been using it non-stop, and I got an ice cream attachment, and we've been experimenting with ice cream lately. So, we're going to do keto-friendly cookies and cream ice cream, y'all! And it's like, it's a really complicated recipe. There are far more ingredients than there are in regular ice cream. So, but it'll be fine. <laughs> but it is a two-parter. Two parts. But it's easy. It'll be fine. We'll be good. Optimism. Optimism. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. All right, bye. To the bowl. All right, so what's our first step? So, first, we're gonna set our oven to bake at 300. And this is extra weird, because this is, fun fact, also not my kitchen. <laughs> we're just using a stranger's kitchen. Now what you'll see is I am just greasing the shit out of this pan since we don't have parchment paper. Why are we greasing the pan? Cause we're gonna be putting our cookie crumbles in it and we don't want them to stick to the pan. All right. That would be a bitch. Also, I don't have a fully like put together pan, mainly cause I'm more of a cheesecake lady. So it is a springform pan, but you can use a pan that doesn't have the buckle if you want. All right, first we're gonna make the cookie, part of the cookies and cream ice cream. And the first ingredient is almond flour. We're gonna do three quarter cups of almond flour. We're gonna add a quarter cup of cocoa powder. We're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. And we're gonna do a quarter cup of our erythro. Oh god, Jen has to say this word. I can't say this word. We got some Truvia. <laughs> now you make me look dumb because you're like, oh, she can't say Truvia. Cassie, what's the main ingredient in Truvia? It is erythritol. Erythritol? Erythritol. <laughs> It does sound like sugar. Maybe, do you think they do that on purpose just so it tricks you so into you feel better? Like, yeah, right? You're like, hmm, it's definitely sugar. All right, so let's whisk those dry ingredients together here, folks. All right, we're gonna do half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we also have to add one and a half tablespoons of softened coconut oil. Why are you whisking like in between ingredients? No, that one was just the, tea, the vanilla. <laughs> it's all okay. judging. So anyways, we're gonna add our coconut oil. It's refined coconut oil, so it doesn't have that coconutty flavor. You can get the other one if you like coconut, but I don't want coconut in my cookies and cream, so. All right, we're gonna whisk that shit. And we gotta add an egg. One large egg. Smells really good. I mean, it looks kind of like a chocolate cookie dough. Right. All right, and we're gonna add a pinch of salt. All right, now we're gonna take our cookie dough and press it into the springform pan. We are going to put this in the oven for 20 minutes, like I said, at 300 degrees, which our oven is already set to go here. All right, so now we're gonna make the ice cream part. What are we gonna do? So we are going to add two and a half cups of heavy whipping cream, and we're gonna whip them until stiff peaks form. Should I, how fast should I whip it? I would start off kinda slow. 
and then once it gets kind of frothy, crank it. Crank it! You can hold it upside down. I think we're stiff. <laughs> I think we're stiff. Yeah, deaf. Okay. All right, we're at stiff peaks. We're at stiff peaks. All right, so we're gonna add a tablespoon of vanilla extract and a half a cup of erythritol. Look, I said it so fluidly that time. She said erythritol, guys. It's a goddamn miracle. Now, we're gonna add half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. Our dogs are having a grand old time in the back, if you couldn't tell. All right, we're gonna blend it until this re-thickens. Weird. You think that's good? Oh. It's the right consistency. Give you that. It kind of tastes like sugar alcohol. It'll be fine. All right, what do we have to do with this now? All right, now we gotta transfer it to our ice cream churn thing. All right, the freezy bowl. Let's just watch Cassie try to put this thing together because she's never used it before. Okay. Okay. I think I did that right. A and B. <laughs> I don't, what does A and B mean? I don't know. What does A and B mean? That's a great question, Jen. She's smart. She can figure this out. Nope. Definitely not B. Ingredients for a homemade delicious Okay, creation. but how do I attach it? The power and convenience <laughs> of the KitchenAid stand mixer easily creates two quarts of sorbet. Right, but how do we attach it? Frozen desserts. So we figured out that with the KitchenAid stand mixer, you just attach this part to the top of the machine, and then the bottom half of the mixer just sits this in, guy. just sits in the bowl. Doesn't actually attach. So that's why we couldn't make it attach. Transfer our whipped cream. Oh my God. It's going well. All right, so we're gonna put our thingamajig. Flip. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna put the cookies in now, or we put the cookies in later? No, we're gonna get it going first. Uh, okay. This has been churning for like what, 15 minutes? At least. At least. <laughs> Guys, she's gonna add the cookie crumbs. Cause it's kinda starting to get creamy in there, you know? Sure. Shut up for a sec. I mean, not to be a Debbie Downer, I have like very low hopes for this. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we're all kind of in that boat. bowl, put it into a Tupperware container and freeze it for a couple of hours before we can taste it. Let's check it out. Ooh, ooh it's difficult to get out now. <laughs> but it's good. Oh, oh, oh okay. ice creamy. Cool. It's like soft serve right now. Which is what it said it would be probably about. Probably. Probably. <laughs> if we did it kind of right. Okay, how long has it been in the freezer? Um, well, we put it in the freezer. We left here about noon, 12.15. So it's been in the freezer like nine hours. Okay. So. Poke it. Technically. What's it like? <laughs> it's softening. It's been out of the freezer for like 20 minutes. <laughs> softening. <laughs> but it's hard as I mean, rock, essentially. It's, it's hard. <laughs> Okay. Let me see what happens. I feel like I need. I 
mean, okay. What's so, it doing? It's kind of like just crumbling, which is weird. It's crumbling. It feels more like dipping dot somehow. <laughs> That's weird. Oh. Why don't we just put a little in each bowl and then we can do the whole tasting thing. Okay. Okay. Okay, everybody's got their ice cream. Do you like how reluctantly she said ice cream too? Did everybody hear the audible pause before she went, okay, let's eat the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ready? We're going to take our first bite. Okay. Mm -hmm. sweetener like like sugar alcohol <laughs> which is what I think it's all chocolate yep oh, yeah there's chocolate there's that nice chocolate that's saving the whole thing <laughs> <laughs> naturally cocoa powder holding it together all right so if we gave this a rating on one to five mm. overall hmm I mean I really don't think it's that bad so I'd say three three in the way that like it's not bad I think it, uh, if you're expecting more ice cream then <clears throat> right yes but if you're satisfied with I mean honestly with this I wouldn't even bother like if I'm gonna have some ice cream I'm just gonna have some ice cream really this is I mean it's a lot I'm giving it 2.5 because <laughs> I could not eat this again I'm not gonna go through the trouble of making this again mm. to taste this that's fair that's fair. So here's your first Gen Ed fail video. Back <laughs> <laughs> to you by Cassie. <laughs> Remember, she picked this one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here I was like, yeah, let's do something healthy. And this sounds good. Why bother being healthy? You only live once. That shit. So I guess we're gonna go finish this delicious ice cream now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>